Hello people and welcome back to the Pick a Stick Challenge and I'm doing the one of February 2016. Um, this group started in January 2016 so I have a bit of catching up to do. Um, I'm working in my address book uh, again and I have gessoed the page because of the glossiness of the photo that was in it. And before I start the challenge, I start with adding some color to the page. These challenges are quite intimidating. And um, um, in the steps, I couldn't find anything uh, for my background uh, to do. So that's why I start doing uh, that uh, before step one. And I'm using an acrylic paint by uh, Ducraft Artista, and that is a cobalt blue and the lagoon. And I'm uh, watering it down and then try to drip it from the page. This first step, which I'm beginning with now, is add a die cut. Now, I didn't have die cuts. I'm not even sure what they are exactly. Uh, I'm, I'm a Dutch girl and uh, I'm not ex exactly sure what a die cut means. But I had this little bird cage, which is from very thin wood. And I guess um, that would be OK for a die cut. So. First, I'm adding some paint to this little bird cage, uh, gesso and acrylic paint, some splatter, and a little bird inside I have painted black, and that's all with an acrylic paint. And now I am gluing uh, this down with the gel medium, medium from Golden. So you get to improvise a bit, and uh, because this challenge is really about having fun and uh, challenge yourself um, uh, with these steps. And if you don't have something the steps are asking for, you just can improvise a bit. Step two is journal. So I use my white Posca marker, I believe. Yes, I do. And I'm just scribbling down some words about freedom and a birch and a fly and blah, blah. And I'm doing that on the left bottom corner of my page. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible uh, because I don't want it to be a busy page. So this is step three, add foil. And I had some options. This is some wrapping paper I had in a diamond, with a diamond pattern on it. So uh, I started cutting out some of the diamonds, tried it on my page and decided I didn't like that all that much. So what I did was using some foil from uh, kitchen foil and I put some paint uh, on it and tear a piece off, which I'm gluing down with a Mod Podge. So, um, yeah, this is what I mean with improvising. Uh, first, I was thinking of doing the wrapping paper and eventually it turned out to be uh, some foil from my kitchen. Step four is cut or rip the page. Now, I didn't want to do that. Uh, so what I did was using my little scissors to um, distress the edges of my page. And in a few places, I uh, tore it a little bit, just a little snip and tried to um, curled, curl the paper a bit on the edges. And that's as far as I wanted to go with this. Step five is add metal. And I use a very small little key. I have another element, a feather, uh, which I was uh, thinking of using. But as I said, the, 
the page would be busy enough and I don't want it to overload it. it um, so I only use the tiny little key because I thought, well, with the with where the page was going, with the bird in the cage and the, f the text of the freedom, uh, I thought a key would fit in well. And what I also do is use a little bit of washi tape. I glued it down, the key, with the gel medium, but I also used a little bit of washi tape to tape over it. Uh, I just like that. Uh, step six is use a gel print or deli paper scribble. So I don't have a jelly uh, mat. Uh, I ne I've never done that before and I don't have deli paper. So what I did in the beginning of the video is uh, wiping up the, uh, the leftover paint, the blue and the kind of aqua color with a piece of paper and that is what I'm using for my gel print. So this was another uh, thing for me to improvise and I'm gluing this down on top of the foil so only a tiny bit of the foil will still be visible. Then step seven, use a napkin. So I had this floral napkin of which I thought could look nice on my page. I cut a piece out of it, uh, a piece of the floral bits and removed the two layers of tissue paper on the back. And now I am deciding where to put it. And that's going to be there using the Mod Podge again for gluing down the napkin. Uh, you need to be very careful with that because of, of, it, of it being so thin, the glue comes through and when you touch it with your brush or your fingers, you intend to pull it back up again and tear, tear it. But it all went okay. And that is glued down. Then the next step, add wings. And this was a difficult one. First, I... Oh no, sorry. Step eight, I think. What am I doing? But step eight is add dots, stars and or a shape. So I cut out, um, punched out some little flower shapes uh, from the same... Um, well, gel, jelly print paper. <clears throat> and I'm gluing that down in a few places. But it's the next step, step nine, which got me worried, and that was add wings. Um, at first, I thought to give the birdcage uh, some wings. But... Um, because I just didn't know where else I could put it and what to do with wings. I've cut, uh, I've printed out some wings I created for a digital scrapbook kit once. So I printed those out and now I'm finding a way to place um, the wings. I was planning on adding them next to the birdcage, but I didn't like that all that much. So uh, I decided to just put them up in the air, really, and adjust them a bit so they are the same and gluing them down with a Mod Podge. So for those who aren't familiar yet with these pick a stick challenges, you really need to check that out. They are so much fun. As I said, quite intimidating and a bit scary though, but as long as you try to uh, compromise with some steps that uh, are difficult or you don't have the products in your stash, it will be fine really. And it's really 
great fun. So I will leave you a link in the description box below so you can check it out for yourself. So now I am outlining with the black Posca marker to add a bit of shadowing across the page here at the wings. And then step 10 says draw in wet paint. So these kind of things can throw you off quite a bit because how on earth am I going to do that? But I found a solution by just adding a small uh, stroke of white paint, acrylic paint, and uh, used the back of my spatula to write the word freedom in there. And I also used the black acrylic paint in the little needle bottle to um, add some more scribbling on the de uh, gel print paper. And at last but not least is edging the, it, I always say edging the page, but I mean inking the edges with the black ink from Stazon and doing some splatters and then adding a date and my pick a stick challenge for February 2016 is done. So I'm very happy with this page. It turned out quite okay, I, I guess. And um, well, that's for me. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you on the Facebook group of the Pick a Stick Challenges and uh, hope to see you very soon on my channel again. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.